Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been shaking the music world recently. Jay-Z's involvement in next year's Super Bowl halftime show. The announcement that Kendrick Lamar will be performing has sparked outrage, especially among Lil Wayne's fans, who believe the hometown hero should have gotten the spotlight in New Orleans. From Nicki Minaj to Birdman, and even Funk Flex, Everyone has something to say, and as you can guess, it's not all pretty. But we've also got folks like Fat Joe and Charlemagne the God defending Jay-Z's role. Let's break down the drama. So first up, Lil Wayne's fans and even peers like Nicki Minaj, Birdman, and Juvenile have been pretty vocal. They feel it's a huge snub that Kendrick is headlining the Super Bowl in New Orleans instead of Wayne, who has been repping NOLA since day one. The loudest voice? You guessed it, Nicki Minaj. She took to social media and essentially pointed the finger at Jay-Z, accusing him of keeping Wayne out of the mix. And it wasn't just her. People close to Wayne have echoed similar frustrations. They want to know why Wayne, a hometown legend, isn't front and center for one of the biggest stages in the world. Now here's where it gets interesting. Fat Joe was quick to jump on Instagram Live and defend Jay-Z. He argued that ever since Jay-Z partnered with the NFL in 2019, hip-hop has been given a bigger stage at the Super Bowl. Think about it. We've had performances from Dr. Dre, Eminem, Rihanna, and others, all pulling in record numbers. Joe even made a joke, saying if it wasn't for Jay-Z, we'd be stuck listening to Cotton Eye Joe at halftime. Years ago, the beef with the NFL was that black people wasn't represented. And they was doing us wrong, even though we was the talent, whatever the case. But then they put Jay-Z and Rock Nation to do the shows, and they brought out Dr. Dre, Eminem, everybody, number one ratings, Rihanna, this, they killing it. So now, of course, the hip-hop community likes to attack the hip-hop. And so, yeah, Jay-Z's a big voice. But, you know, he got to go through the... NFL ranks, the Roger Goodells, everything like that. So they could come out with who's performing at halftime. It ain't just one man's decision that I know of. And so um, to just throw the blame on the man, how about if he wasn't doing these shows, it'd be no hip hop. If he wasn't doing the halftime, the Rock Nation, there'd be no hip hop because there never was hip hop. You be listening to, don't go messing with a Cotton Eye Boy, Cotton Eye Joe, Cotton Eye Joe. You be listening to that shit at halftime. And so, be careful what you wish for. It, when you hear people's uh, gripe against me, it's always about what I didn't do for them. Mm. They don't say I did anything to them. They said I didn't, I didn't do something for them. That's what we've been saying about him not coming on the show. <laughs> exactly. See, that type of thing. No, but the and Fab, he had a similar take. He acknowledged that it would have been dope to see Lil Wayne headline in New Orleans, but also noted that it's not just up to Jay-Z. There's a whole committee involved in making these decisions, and Kendrick's recent success, especially with his victory over Drake, probably played a huge role in securing him the spot. But I do see like people blaming it like solely on Jay-Z, when I don't think that's the truth. I think um, it's a committee, it's a board. I feel like it's different people who come into play when decisions like that are, ha are made. Uh, I do think it would have been great for Lil Wayne to be, um, you know, just because of how much he's done in the game and how much he's meant to New Orleans and, you know, that would have been a, a great opportunity. Never know if he's going to be included, if that was something that was behind the scenes. I think it was Kendrick interesting that Kendrick got it after the the Drake battle and shit too. I think that's more something that should be talked about. You know, I think his his relevance is really up from that, so that could be something that took the scale too. Charlemagne, the god also had to chime in, calling out the idea that Jay-Z is somehow blocking Wayne's shine. Charlemagne reminded everyone that Jay-Z actually helped Lil Wayne out of a massive tax debt a few years ago, over $14 million to be exact. He even helped Wayne keep his house. So Charlemagne is basically saying, how is that hate? Plus, from a business perspective, Charlemagne argued that Kendrick is better for the Super Bowl in 2024. With Kendrick having a monster year, it makes sense for the NFL to choose him to maximize streams and engagement. It's all about the where we stand. Jay-Z is getting both heat and support for the Super Bowl decision. But at the end of the day, 
It's not all on him. The NFL has a whole process, and there are so many moving parts. Whether you're Team Wheezy or Team Kendrick, one thing's for sure. The halftime show is going to be huge. Let me know in the comments. Do you think Lil Wayne should have headlined? Or is Kendrick the right choice for 2025? And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest drama in the music world.